morning students in the last video we have discussed about what is a primary indexing so to, now we will discuss about one of the numerical question related to the primary indexing for your better understanding okay so let me read out the question once then we will solve the question they are given an ordered file so the data file is an ordered so that is important of 30000 records there are 30000 records are there okay like in exam in previous one we have taken nine records but they have given 30000 records are there stored on a disk with block size of 1024 bytes means one block is collection of records so they have given a block size and they have given the number of records okay records are of fixed length uh, and are unspanned of size 100 bytes what is meant by unspanned we will discuss because already in the previous video we have discussed what is a span indexing and unspan indexing but we will discuss what is an unspan indexing again for your better understanding so they have given the record size is 100 bytes and we have created a primary indexing means the question is related to primary indexing on the key field of 9 bytes and block pointer is 6 bytes we said that primary indexing will have two fields not a primary indexing any indexing will consist of two fields one is the key value and the block pointer so they have given the key value as 9 bytes and block pointer is 6 bytes okay then find the average number of blocks this this is the information they have given and now they are asking us to find out this one find the average number of blocks to set for a record without indexing and with indexing so they are asking us to find the average number of block access if we does not use primary indexing and if we use the primary indexing what is the average number of block access we have to find okay so now we will solve this numerical question so first thing is that they have given an ordered file and they are saying it is a primary indexing so that's clear and they have given unspam we have said that the a block consists of certain records okay we have two types of storing the records in a block one is span and another one is unspan in a span one what we will do we will fix the variable number of records variable length of records if there is some space is there suppose let's say that if i have some block of 90 mb okay i have kept some 9 mb some 20 mb some 40 mb of records then how sorry not 40 let me take it as a 40 60 69 then and the 20 mb record so four records are there record one record two record three record four which of size 9 mb 20 mb 40 mb and another 20 mb respectively so how much mb is left 60 80 89 one mb is left so what I will do in the spanned one is that I will not waste this space instead of that one fifth record one MB I will keep in this block and remaining data of the record I will keep in the block 2 that is about the spanned indexing is it clear in the spanned way of storing we will not waste the storage space but what is the drawback the drawback is that if i want to access the record number five i have to access the block one and block two that is the drawback of span one but what is an unspan in unspan we will not keep this record one mb here we will waste this one mb we will not use it and we will keep the entire record in another block so that is about unspan indexing <coughs> excuse me okay so we in a gate we have to study the question completely because each word is very important to solve the question okay so now we will solve the how to what is the average number of block access without indexing okay so first thing is that number of records is 30000 they have given so block size is 1024 we said that in a block we have certain number of records are there if block size is 1024 bytes we have to find how many records will fit in a single block because in a main file we have records and we have a block one block two like that so first we need to find in a single block how many records will fit 
so that I can identify how many blocks are required in the main data file. So I need to find, okay, number of records in a block is equal to block size by record size, which is equal to block size by record size, okay. So what is the block size? Block size is 1024 bytes by 100 bytes. So which is equal to 10.2, but I cannot keep 10.2 records because it is an unspanned. So I will keep only 10 records. If it is a spanned one, I can keep 10.2 means in the 11th record, some uh, amount of 11th record also I can keep but this is an unspanned even if it is 10.2 records I can keep I will keep only 10 records so number of records in a single block is 10 records if 10 records I can keep a single block how many blocks are required so number of blocks required to key 30,000 records okay how many blocks are required in a single block I can keep 10 records so how many blocks are required to store 30,000 records 30,000 by 10 which is equal to 3,000 blocks are required okay are you able to understand we have first identified how many Number of records are possible in a single block is 10 records. So then we have identified that 3000 blocks are required in the data file. Okay. So I am erasing this one. So in the data file, we have 3000 blocks are there. So block 1, 2, block 3000 are there. So 3000 blocks are there. So now let me discuss. They are asking find the average number of blocks search for a record without indexing. They are asking how many block access I have to do without indexing. If there is no indexing is done on this data file, how many blocks I have to do? I have to go for the linear search. Is it, shall I do linear search or binary search? I should do the binary search. Why? Because all the records are stored in an order that is very important it is an ordered file if it is an unordered file i would have done the linear search but it is an ordered file so i should do the binary search so if i am doing the binary search then i have to access log n base 2 where n is the means i am saying the average case so where n is the number of blocks how many blocks are there 3000 blocks are there so log 3000 base 2 is the average number of block access without indexing now we will go for the with indexing if it is with indexing we will have an index file am i right we have to have the index file the index file consists of two things one is the key value and another one is the block pointer they have given the key value as 9 bytes and block pointer as 6 bytes. Okay. Then they are saying that it is a primary indexing. If it is a primary indexing, in each block, one record will be stored here. So for the block one, record one is there. So I will have the block pointer one, which will be pointing to this one. And similarly, second block, first record will be there. And the corresponding like that we will have how many blocks 3000 blocks not 30,000 it will be 3000 blocks are only there so one entry will be for single block and the record will be the first record in the block that's what we have discussed about the primary indexing so we will have only 3000 entries in the index file are you able to understand so how many entries are there how many blocks are there in the main file is 3000 blocks are there so 3000 entries will be there in the index file but how many records are there in the main file is 30000 but how many records are there in the index file is only 3000 because one block will be one record here 
okay so with this explanation let me solve the find the average number of blocks with indexing okay now let me discuss it so first thing is that how this one also because they are saying that how many block axes are required so this one also i want to divide into blocks okay then i will go for this one so we have 3000 records are there but this 3000 records i have to divide into blocks so number of records in a block now please listen carefully which is equal to block size by record size okay where block size is equal to 1024 bytes by what is the record size lot of people will confuse that the record size will they will take it as 100 bytes it is for data file only but what is the record size in the index file if you see that i have said each one is a one record one record is consists of a key value plus block pointer only am i right or wrong one record consists of only key value and block pointer what is the size of key value which is 9 bytes what is the size of block pointer which is equal to 6 bytes so 9 plus 6 is equal to 15 bytes is the record size are you able to understand 15 bytes is the size of a record in the index file so number of records in a block in the index file is equal to block size by record size which is 15 bytes which is equal to 68.2 meaning is that i can keep 68.2 records in a single block in index file but it is an unspanned if it is an unspan, I can keep only 68 records in a single block. In a single block, I can keep 68 records in index file. Are you able to understand it or not? The next one we will discuss how many blocks are required. Number of blocks required is equal if I storing 3000 records okay so how many blocks are required 3000 by how many blocks are there sorry how many records in a single block is 68 records so which is equal to 44 point something so 44 point some value will be there it is 44.2 something so 44 point some blocks are required if 44 point some blocks are required then it is nothing but 45 blocks are required for storing the index file so we have block number 1 to block number 45 so 45 blocks are required to store the 3000 records in the index file whereas 3000 blocks are required to store 30,000 records in the data file. Okay. Now we have identified how many blocks are there in the data file, how many blocks are there in the index file. So now, how many, what they are asking, average number of blocks for searching a record with indexing. Now, first thing is that if I want to find where the record is there, first I need to find in which block it is there am i right or wrong if i want to identify any record i need to identify which block it belongs to for each block there is an entry here so first i need to identify the block in the index file as if you see it is a an ordered file because block number one to block number 45 will be there which is an ordered file and it is so if it is an ordered file, what I can do? I can do the binary search. If I have 45 entries, in an average I will have log 45 base 2. Because 45 entries are there, 45 blocks are there. So to search a block, in an average case is, because it is a binary search, I can do log n base 2 where n is 45 here. So I will identify one block. 
let's state that the block number is 10 okay the block number is 10 once I identify the block number 10 I have to go for the block number 10 in the main file am I right or wrong once I identify the block number 10 in the main file I have to go for the block number 10 and I have to identify the record what I am searching so there will be one more block access for in the data file so how many block access are required is 6 log 45 base 2 is 6 plus 1 which is equal to 7 block access are required if you are using the primary indexing so if you are using the indexing only 7 block access are required if you are using without uh, indexing we will ha we have 12 block access okay i hope you have understood the primary indexing concept and you would have understood what is the use of indexing concept also if we have without indexing we have 12 block access if we have indexing concept we have 7 blocks so the searching is better in the indexing concept okay thank you so much